On April 1, 1976, in the small garage in Los Altos, California, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak started Apple Computers. They had a vision of changing the way people viewed and used computers by making them small enough for people to have them in their homes or offices, unlike the computers at the time which filled entire rooms. The Apple II computer revolutionized the computer industry with the introduction of the first ever color graphics personal computer. The Apple II, small, inexpensive, simple to use. The first computer an individual could take out of the box, plug in, and run. Apple at the core, its core value is that we believe that people with passion can change the world for the better. And change the world they did. The company continued to grow and innovate with products like the iPod. Before that time, people would carry around a CD player that held only 15 songs. This amazing little device holds a thousand songs and it goes right in my pocket. In 2007, Apple reshaped how we did everything when it announced the iPhone. This is a day I've been looking forward to for two and a half years. Today, today Apple is going to reinvent the phone. It redefined the cell phone from a clunky device that just made phone calls into a simple to use pocket computer. Now, everywhere you turn, you can see Apple's influence on people's life. Apple isn't the only company changing the future from Silicon Valley. Numerous companies have started and are headquartered here in the Silicon Valley. Companies like Intel, HP, Facebook, PayPal, Tesla, Netflix, Google, Instagram, Adobe, EA Sports, GoPro, Pixar, Uber, Yelp, Twitter, and many others. Truly, the future starts here. While Apple started in a garage, Google started its small search engine company in a dorm room at Stanford University, just miles away. Now, Google is a multi-billion dollar company who's changed the way we get information and is changing many areas of our future, including how we will get around. Tech companies may start in garages and in the dorms of Stanford University, but something far greater starts right here. It's Monday morning, and Golden State Baptist College students are ready and off to their first class. There are many to choose from when registering. Classes are taught by seasoned men of God, like Langford Oxendine, the GSBC vice president and an amazing Bible teacher, and Craig Burchett, the head of the Bible department, who makes the Bible come alive during every class. For those wanting to study music, GSBC also has a world-class music program. The music faculty have a way of making the complex easy to understand. Classes such as music theory, musicianship, choral directing, private music lessons, and piano pedagogy give the students the tools needed for future ministry, and there are many opportunities to put their musical training to use. The highlight of every day is the chapel service. Preachers from all around the country are flown to GSBC, so students can hear from God's choices servants weekly. Many lives have been changed through the daily, fiery preaching of God's Word. After classes, the students enjoy lunch with friends in the Commons Building, a dual-purpose building. One side is the two-story state-of-the-art dining facility, and the other side houses a full-size gymnasium where many memories are made. After lunch, students enjoy spending time with friends in the Golden Grill, Java Junction, Student Lounge, and Activity Center. For others, it's off to work. Students at GSBC enjoy a thriving job market. With the tech companies already mentioned, it's not hard to find a great paying job in the Silicon Valley. Many of our students work security for various tech companies, while others enjoy great on-the-job training, teaching at local after-school programs like Challenger and Stratford. When Tuesday rolls around, there's an excitement in the air. Local pastors of thriving churches teach every Tuesday and Thursday. Pastors like Mike Johnson from Redding, California, Tim Rule from Chico, California, and Mike Ray from Napa, California. These men bring practical knowledge and zeal that can only come from someone currently pastoring. These three men have been traveling to GSBC for over 20 years and have traveled over 500,000 accumulative miles and have impacted thousands of students and continue to make a difference every week. Wednesday is the highlight for the students. 
Dr. Jack Treber leads the chapel and teaches his classes. His love for God and the students is evident, and his zeal and excitement spread to the whole student body. Pastor Treber and the rest of the faculty and staff make it a point to be accessible to the students and know each one by name. Thursday also is a special day with other local pastors teaching the students. There are classes that will prepare you for whatever God has called you to do. For instance, many take education classes where they learn the art of teaching and also have the opportunity to train under seasoned teachers in and out of a classroom setting. During their senior year, education students have the opportunity to student teach at North Valley Baptist Schools and observe great teachers in action. Many also learn practical skills for ministry and life with computer and media classes like desktop publishing, Photoshop, video production, and many other media classes. Friday is also filled with classes that educate the mind, move the heart, and inspire the spirit, like the missions classes taught by David Sloan, a veteran missionary who built works in Mexico, Ukraine, and Israel. He is fluent in many languages and knows how to prepare students to start ministries at home and abroad. He is also building a thriving Spanish department right here at NVBC. Pastor Randy Ralston from Reno, Nevada flies in every Friday to teach and lead the college in a spirit-filled chapel. The young people put all the training to practical use during the weekends. It starts in the morning with the Saturday rally. All students are involved in the weekend ministries, which include the bus ministry, where they can lead people to Christ while out soul winning, bring them to church, and see them grow in grace. The bus ministry is exciting and teaches the students to fulfill the Great Commission. Many college students also take part in the rest home ministries, where they receive valuable training on how to deal with all ages and learn to love and respect the elderly. After the Saturday ministries, many participate in intramural sports, which include basketball, volleyball, baseball, and soccer. Saturday nights are also a great time away from the demands of school, as they participate in one of the many college activities. Sundays start with the buses rolling out picking up boys and girls, moms and dads, and taking them to church. God's presence is evident during the services of the North Valley Baptist Church, which started around the same time as Apple computers. Since 1975, God has blessed this ministry and countless people's future have been impacted. Over 81,000 have walked the aisles of the church for salvation, and over 18,500 have followed the Lord in believer's baptism. From the choir opener to the special music and preaching, God is magnified and students experience God's hand at work. GSBC students are a part of a thriving New Testament local church led by Pastor Treber, whose influence is felt around the globe. Not only do the students have the opportunity to learn from the Word of God, but also to teach the Word of God as they lead and teach the C ministry classes. They get to see firsthand that the ministry is great. Every week, a foundation is built for an effective future. Unlike the tech companies who build businesses and grow profits, GSBC students receive biblical instruction, hands-on training, and experiences to change the future and the world for the glory of God. Is God speaking to your heart about Bible college? Prayerfully consider Golden State Baptist College in the center of the Silicon Valley, where the future starts here. Perhaps your future starts here.